a Nigerian social media influencer and a very popular obedient by the person of um, Nam the Chude has been rearrested by the Nigeria police. Chude makes a lot of videos, a lot of tweets supporting P2B Labour Party. is a very top obedient and um, he did make some tweet which did not go down very well to some powerful individual in Anambra state and what happened to him after is now happening to him again because the man in question reported him to authorities and they took him in in fact the day of the governorship and state assembly election we were watching live uh, feed from Chude uh, in Onisha, Anambra State. He was recording what was happening. People trying to snatch ballot balls and the rest of it. And suddenly, everything just went blind. And it's like, what's happened? Did he run out of battery? Did uh, whatever? And nobody heard from him again. The next thing is that he was whisked away that day, probably while recording. And then, before we knew it, he was already in Abuja from Anambra State. I'm going to tell you what happened, who he offended, and why he was taken in. Before then, please like the video, give it a thumbs up, so that YouTube will now share it to more people, and then share it yourself. Who knows, you might get to an important obedient, who knows the right buttons to press, so that we will find our friend and brother and he will be freed once again. He was accused of criminal defamation because he made a tweet that offended a very strong businessman from Anambra State by the name of Emeka Ofo. He made that tweet and in it he claimed that Emeka Ofo had been engaged by Nigerian president-elect Bola Tinubu to beg P2B to accept the result of the February 25 presidential election and not go to court or continue with the court process. This was the offense. So the Nigerian police force now took him then. Later, they released him. And when they released him, he made a video and apologized to Emeka for saying that he didn't know that this is criminal defamation. And we all said, well, um, done and dusted, matter is over, and he was back in the streets. Before we know it, he has been taken in again. His tweet that caused all the problem, I'm going to read it to you now. He tweeted, so as official bat, that's referring to you know, call the Emeka of Four to beg P2B to accept the rigged result. Offensive to probably Bola Tinubu and Emeka of Four. He said, if he is sure the people voted for APC and he won the election, why is he running around pleading with everyone to help beg P2B to accept the result? This is the problem. This is the tweet. And in all honesty, many people might not know that there is something wrong with this. Is it because he mentioned the name of this man? Tinubu didn't um, ask for his arrest, but they said it's because of mentioning a make for. He's so offensive that he said that he was begging P2B on behalf of Tinubu. That's what happened. Many people swung into action then. I know that they called um, the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Chuku Masoludo, because uh, Chude has also tweeted a couple of things. He wasn't a very big fan of uh, Soludo. And Soludo said, I don't know, I had something like uh, the Interpol arrested him for cyberbullying. Very casual reply from a governor. He knew that he was taken, but he 
talks is Interpol. So, so I was asking, since when has Interpol gotten involved with cyberbullying? Did he bully somebody outside the shores of Nigeria? Because that's when you have to get Interpol to work, that works across borders. Only later we got the full information that it was in Abuja for cyber, whatever they called it now. And um, it's because of what he said about uh, Emeka Ofo, which when he came out, he apologized. P2B raised questions then asking, where is our true day? We need more information. Whoever is holding him should let us know what he did and release him. I know that uh, Tiku Abubakar and also um, a couple of people, I'm not quite sure, Atiku Abubakar, let me not just say, it's a couple of people raised concern about his arrest. You know, our own Omoyele Showore, he likes social media influencers, he asked questions also, Sahara reporters did. And then after some time, he was released. I don't know why they have arrested him now again. That is something that uh, I don't know. But therefore, should be made to speak to the people to let him go. They have already contacted force headquarters. And um, the CPRO, police PRO, was not available to say what happened. They did not also respond to text messages that have been sent because people want to know what actually happened. He was released on March uh, 24, 2023, after spending a few days, uh, some days, in detention. And uh, the people that arrested him from what we know now is the cybercrime unit of Interpol and was taken to Abuja on the evening of Saturday, March 18. And he stayed till 24 before he left him. He also likened the, just before that arrest, arrest he likened the uh, Governor Charles Chukwu Masoludo's government in Anambra State to the administration of former Governor Chimwo Kembadineju who just passed on recently anyway, uh, last week, which fueled speculations that Anambra State government was behind his arrest. Who knows? But he's a make offer that really came out and said, um, I, I, I was insulted by this guy and he ap apologized to him. That's what he said he was charged with. If Anambra State government has a hand in it, they haven't been bold enough to tell us what happened. So, like I said, while the State House uh, of Assembly election was going on uh, that uh, Saturday the 18th, he tweeted that talks are allegedly oper operating under the directive of the ruling um, All Progressive Cong uh, Grand Alliance, ABGA, in Anambra State, I mean Governor Soledo's political party, that they were on rampage, snatching ballot boxes and disrupting elections. In an area of um, Anambra State called 33, in Awada area close to Onesha, almost Onesha. So after that tweet, he was reported, uh, reportedly taken around 5.30 p.m. So this is what is happening now on our brother, Tuesday, and we cannot wait to see him back on the social media. Please like the video, share it, subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in our next update.